Good morning. My name is Father Frank Quintana. I am the pastor of Blessed Oscar Romero Catholic Community. And I'm making a statement um, in solidarity with the Albuquerque activists against excessive force by the police. And I call for His Honor Richard Berry to resign immediately as mayor. I intend to speak as a man of faith to a presumptive man of goodwill, asking for his resignation. Because he, uh, his honor is not able, it seems, to rein in the culture of violence at the uh, Albuquerque Police Department. That, that culture of violence has not come to an end, despite the uh, Department of Justice uh, examining and calling for a change in the Albuquerque Police Department. There is lack of leadership in the mayor's office sufficient to end the pattern and practice of unconstitutional policing and use of excessive force. Under this mayor's watch, failure to take responsibility or even acknowledging existing problems as identified by the Department of Justice. I would ask that the mayor resign because there seems to be a lack of accountability for fatal shootings by the Albuquerque Police Department, including Mary Hawks. There's a lack of accountability for the death of Mary Hahn and for the Albuquerque Police Department's role on the crime scene. There's a lack of accountability for excessive force um, against the homeless for the harassment and the criminal criminalization of the homeless. And the, the, there is a lack of accountability which led to the murder of James Boyd. Even District Attorney Kerry Brandenburg, who brought uh, charges against the police in that uh, incident, fears for her life from the uh, Albuquerque Police Department. I'm also calling for his resignation because of his punitive plan against the poor, the homeless, for their panhandling. And because of that, especially because of that, I am asking that Mayor Berry re-examine his attitude towards the homeless. He constantly characterizes the homeless as being those who refuse the, uh, the city services because of drugs or because they're criminals or because of uh, mental illness or even characterizing them as just not wanting to um, cooperate with the city. And actually there are uh, several reasons, uh, only, and I'll only give you 10, of which the people have told me they are not able or willing to use the existing services. First of all, there is overcrowding. Even though Mayor Berry has said that there are empty beds, there is overcrowding. This is what the, the homeless have been telling me. There's not enough beds. And those who are trying to, um, the other reason is that those who are trying to work or go to school cannot be in line in time to get a shelter bed. Those who stand in line eventually give up on trying to find a job because they can't uh, meet the shelter's uh, existing rules. Several people have said that they do not use the shelter because of bed bugs, body lice, that it's inevitable to catch them when a different person sleeps in the same bed every night. There, and in the crowded conditions of a shelter, contagious diseases have a propensity to, uh, to be there. And the shelters have no way, they have no means to quarantine the ill. And hepatitis and uh, tuberculosis tend to be problems in shelters. There's a common problem of theft among those who use the shelters. Um, 
particularly of concern is the theft of shoes. A homeless person is, if they have to, if they lose their shoes and have to settle for um, ill-fitting shoes or uh, or shoes that are about ready to give out, they end up with sores on their feet, and many of the homeless um, end up with um, with open sores and difficulty in walking. Difficulty and without shoes, how is one able to find a job? Another problem is that the homeless are expected to give up on their pets. Oftentimes this is the only family or friendship or companionship a homeless person has. And yet in order to find bedding or to find um, a place in a shelter, they have to give up their pet. And I would just ask how willing are many of you willing to give up your pets? And then there is the problem the real problem of substance abuse. If a homeless person is um, a, an abuser of a, a substance abuse, uh, they are expected to be clean when they go in. Well, a person who is trying to get off of drugs and alcohol, they cannot immediately become clean and then expect to find a place. It takes time to be to find recovery, and there's waiting lists for that as well. And there are a few ex, uh, shelters that accept single fathers with children. The, oftentimes what happens is that the children find a place, but the father can't. Oftentimes couples are separated. Oftentimes families are separated. And particularly the um, gay and lesbian community, particularly the transgender, face discrimination, abuse, and, and uh, sexual abuse in the shelters. I've had many uh, transgender people tell me that this has happened to them. Not only that, but in the shelter, in the shelter situation, showers. Uh, a person who may be going through transition has a difficulty showering in, in public showers. And then there is the problem with the face-based faith-based shelters. The people are expected to participate in religious services that might be even opposed to their own faith in order to find a place. They have to, they have to make allegiance to a particular faith or, or make some kind of uh, commitment to a religious organization that they're not affiliated with. And this again becomes a problem. And so we need to address all of these problems in order to find shelter. Uh, or a transitional shelter situation. And so we ask Mayor Barry continually for a piece of dirt so that we can establish a tent city that gives people an opportunity to transition because they don't meet the criterion for shelters or whatever prevents them from entering a shelter. We can uh, ameliorate that problem with, t with a tent city. And so we, if we cannot meet these situations effectively, then we would ask His Honor to resign. Thank you.